Assalamu alaikum, welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to briefly explain the Caterpillar Voltage Regulator, Automatic Voltage Regulator AVR. Briefly explain the complete wiring diagrams of the VR6. How to install this AVR in a generator and how to understand the wiring of this AVR. So, before the starting the video, if you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to get in more greatest update videos notification. So let's get started. This is a very complicated area. The wiring is a very very complicated. But we are we are is an electrician or technician. We need to know to understand the wiring of this because we are working on in this field. So let me explain. I draw the diagram of caterpillar generator AVR VR6. Basically, the AVR working to adjust the generator voltage AVR automatically. When the generator speed is increased, the AVR in, decreases the excitation system. When the generator speed is decrease the excitation increase the excitation voltage to the excited system this may be keep the generator voltage stable okay that's mean the area so let's explain me this is the vr6 diagram this is our area this area have some terminal tv on top on the right side left side some parameter setting and the bottom side some from 20 to 30 and finally F1 and F2. The number one that means CHG. CHG that means the chest ground. This is our ground. Okay. From the generator chest body to this one. Okay, input. After bit two and three, this is all the auxiliary input for the sensing. Okay, number four, number four terminal is a not in use. Okay, this this terminal is used with the jump with the another terminals like. 7 connect to the 6A and 624 for the remote adjustable internal adjustable voltage. Okay. After that, the 5 and 5A. This is the supply for the current transformer. Okay. This alternator has current transformer to operate the AVR system. And 6A, 6 and 6A. This is for the current CT. Okay. One is current transformer, one is current CT. Okay. 7 is connected to the 6A to 4 for an internal adjustable voltage. Okay. Understand? STF. Look at that. 8 number is connected to 6A. Select 1 volt under frequency. To sensing the frequency voltage. Okay. 9 is connected to the 3 phase sensing. 9 is, is connected to the 3 phase sensing. Okay. This is the top terminals. The left sides adjustable potentiometers. This is for the drop setting. This small potentiometer. FCA, CAL. This is, this is the 
company adjustable that's not need to be adjust this is the factory adjustable okay this one this is the third one is voltage ad adjustable potentiometer and this one is the under frequency adjustable potentiometer and this one is the for the stability of the voltage okay after that there is the 20 and 22 and 24 three phase sensing input okay like a l1 l2 l3 like a a b c or like a x y z three phase of the alternator input sensing okay 26 three phase power input okay check one wires from the phases and connect to the 26 three phase power input okay 26 one phase or three phase power input that's and 30 one phase or three phase power input okay and finally the f1 and f2 is our exciter supply okay that's the short explanation of this evr if you need to understand the complete wiring diagram please write comment below and comment down i will send you the complete manual pdf to read the complete structure and complete explanation of the each terminal to understand so i hopefully you understand see you next time thanks for watching my videos see you next time goodbye